Hello everybody, my name is Del Garcia, and today we're doing a reaction video to Four Common Sexual Dreams and What They Mean by Psych2Go. It's been a long ass time since I've done a Psych2Go video, and well, fuck it, I just said we could. So, let's begin. On a tropical beach, drink in hand, feeling absolutely blissful. Until Lovely. a familiar face approaches and suddenly, things take a steamy turn. So what? What fan fiction have I arrived in? Familiar? Turns out, sex dreams are more common than you might think. According yeah, to fair. Social psychologist Dr. David Wall, studies show that 85% of men and 75% of women have reported dreaming about sex at least once. But yeah. What do they really mean? Let's dive into the different types of sex dreams and their possible interpretations. The celebrity sex dream. Dreamed about getting down and dirty with a celebrity? You're not alone, but what does it mean? Plenty of people have. According Don't worry to about it. Therapist, Dr. Holly Richmond, seeing mm -hmm. a famous person in a sex dream can have several different meanings. These dreams can range from crushes to sexual prowess and agency, and feeling like we can get someone who is out of our reach. Those are common. Oh. They're usually an ego boost. Another possibility is that sex dreams represent our own deepest sexual fantasies and desires that we may not be comfortable. So, like, I look at this, and I see nothing, nothing at all. There's nothing. There's totally nothing that I look at this and I see. Totally nothing on screen. And it's like, I know exactly what the fuck I see. You know what the fuck you see. Comfortable thinking about when we're awake. According to Dr. David Wall, examination of our erotic dreams may produce greater insight <clears throat> into our waking behaviors, attitudes, and states of mind involving sexuality. They can also serve to recognize hidden sexual desires and needs. True. As we all know, dreams are usually never what they seem on the surface. Excuse me, what? Like, br 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 you were just sitting in their lap and then all of a sudden you were on the side of the street? The f hold up, hold up, hold up. This? Amazing situation. Service. This? Huh? Interesting. So, Beyonce and Sean Mendes have no idea that you were dreaming about them last night, so please don't ask them about it. Then. What? That's very specific. Next time you score an autograph. The BDSM dream. BDSM stands for bondage, <clears throat> discipline, sadism, and masochism. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at the last one due to it is such a easy like Saturday morning cartoon villain look with the little pointed teeth. See, neither of them. I'm hearing Skeletor's voice come out of this one. Why the fuck do these people appear all of a sudden for these videos? Bro, like, you know what? Fuck, we're gonna keep moving. Perhaps you're familiar with this term that I want. Phaser, just turn around and go. Who's the scientist for Invader Zim? <laughs> True. In the film titled Fifty Shades of Grey. Ah, this is a mid book. Are fairly common despite. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, Fifty Shades of Grey is pretty mid. Um. Society deeming the topic taboo. Ah, who fucking cares about society? What occurred in the dream to properly assess the meaning behind it and what your mind is trying to tell you? Simply put, what was your role in the dream? Were you in a position of dominance or submission? Most importantly, did you enjoy it or was it uncomfortable? Yeah, if it's uncomfortable, I don't think that's. I think that's a nightmare. That seems like questions can help inform your scary shit. and preferences in real life, according to dream analyst and expert in Bob <clears throat> Hannigan. The significance behind BDSM dreams go beyond whips and chains. Kinky yeah. sex isn't about cuffs and feathers. Phaser, turn the fuck around and leave. You, d yeah, asking questions here is not the time. You did not, you were not asked to come back. It's about control. <laughs> and dreaming about it is a way for your mind to explore the possibilities. So don't be ashamed of your BDSM dream. 
So, we, we just bring out different forms of tentacles now, the fuck? Embrace it. It could be a sign Fair from enough. your subconscious that you're ready to experiment. The sex with your ex dream. This one can be tricky. Chico, because it usually depends chill. On you don't have to be rude, but like, you had and if you're not comfortable with the topic at hand, I don't recommend anyone stick around. Just simply put, because that doesn't make sense. If, if you're not comfortable, leave. But at the same time, no need to be rude. How it ended. Your emotions can range from fear to excitement to nostalgia, depending on the relationship and how it ended. Don't take it as a sign to get back together. Instead, use this dream as a chance to reflect on your feelings and what it means for you. Dr. Janet Brito. Is it bad that I saw their pillow and thought it looked like a condom wrapper? Hold it, let's go back for a second. Yeah, it looks like a fucking condom wrapper. Or a piece of ravioli. Use this dream as One a chance to reflect on your feelings and what it means for you. Dr. <laughs> Janet explains how to analyze your sex dreams if you're confused about what they mean. When sex. <laughs> I now am having. Okay, local, you ever seen the joke where someone like pulls out their wallet and pulls out a condom? Now imagining they just were like, hey, when a two asexual meet together, it's just immediately fucking ravioli. <laughs> it's just ravioli! It's like, why do you have this here? Emergency food. All the more with the garlic bread. Deal with us, fuck. Sorry. Um. Shows up in your dreams. Break it down into a story that has- I want a ravioli condo for now. <laughs> As a beginning, a middle, and an end. And focus on experiencing the feelings in your dream and being curious about where the energy of the dream leads you. Specifically, of how the dream ends. Having a sex dream about your ex could mean that- Hey. Local, sometimes you gotta dress stuff with sauce. And other times you gotta drench it. Um. You're still in the healing and grieving process, or that you miss certain aspects of that relationship. <laughs> I'm laughing, even though this is talking about the grieving process, and that's really sad. But I'm laughing because the jokes are funny. It could also mean that your brain is literally stuck in old neurological patterns. Fair. The great news is that a sex dream about an ex may mean nothing, according to a research study and survey published in the Journal of Comprehensive Psychology. Thirty-five percent of people in relationships had frequent dreams of their current or former romantic partners. Only seventeen percent of single people reported dreaming about an ex-partner, indicating hmm. that people in relationships are more than twice as likely to dream about romance, whether it's an ex or a current partner. That's... Being in a relationship naturally triggers thoughts about romance, which is reflected in our dreams. Phaser? This will go on YouTube eventually. So if you want your name to eventually disappear. Yes, I'm putting this on YouTube. Run. Get out of here. Unless you want to add yourself to the people on this video. <laughs> if you don't want yourself associated with it. He does this, Phaser. Yes. And yes, that includes sex. The embarrassing sex dream. There are plenty of reasons. Past traumas and fears can haunt your subconscious. Explain your brother history. <laughs> Thankfully, I've never used a work computer for these reasons. Um, I've always had my own phone or a PC of my own. God, I would, I'd be mortified if they ever went to me and said, "Explain your brother history." I was like, "Hell no!" Who would use a work PC for that? I don't know. Cough, cough, um, that motherfucker over there. Cough, cough, of another person I could name, but I would immediately be recognizable and they would find me and hurt me. Because <laughs> I would be ratting them out. Um, don't worry about it. Our dreams can be unexpectedly uncomfortable and awkward, ranging from having sex in public to... In Hot. Intimate scenarios with recent acquaintances. Hot. But remember... It's just a dream, and you'll probably forget about it. Psychologist Fair. and author Dr. Alexis Connison explains that sometimes the people and awkward experiences in our dreams are a symbolic representation of emotions and feelings that we might be. Honestly, Inside Out is an amazing movie. Dealing with in real life, it could be that a humiliating sex dream just symbolizes insecurities in your personal or professional life that you're not fully addressing. 
which can produce an anxious response, such as an embarrassing sex dream. Fair. Psychotherapist Dr. Harold Jonas emphasizes that dreams are generally just a production of our thoughts when we're conscious. The brain may focus on a particular thought it had during the day, no matter how fleeting, and it potentially becomes a focal point for a dream. What so the hell? Sometimes it's just not that deep. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. What the fuck is a dream going to look like if it's made out of the concepts of candy, flowers, smoking a cigar, and cats? I'm now realizing that this is a giant euphemism for Batman. Don't ask why, but it's Batman. So jo children smoke cigars, Slayer. Children dream of, dream of cigars. Is that is that what you think? As a two year old, yes. What the? F <laughs> As a two year old. The brain may focus on a particular thought it had during the day, no matter how fleeting, and it potentially becomes a focal point for a dream. So don't fret. Sometimes it's just not that deep. As Sigmund Freud once said, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. So what do you think? Have any of you been experiencing sex dreams lately? The fact that they got the sensor bars on the products on the shelf. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Um, oh, no, not Sigmund Freud. Yeah, Sigmund Freud. Interesting person, I'll say that. And let us know in the comments. If you or someone you know feels concerned or worried about recurring sex dreams, please reach out to a mental health professional. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. And a big thank you to everyone for your support. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Mm -hmm. Get your very own sigh. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. So, like, should I add this to my throne? I'm adding this to my throne. It's too damn cute. Actually, I need to just add stuffed animals to my throne. That would make more sense for my shit. I want more of those than I want actual, like, fucking weird things. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go, and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care. Whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one, Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Sai plushie today. Thank you. Anyways, I need y'all to get into the description. I'm going to have all that shit down there. Please get out there. Support psych like to go as they try to give out a lot of actual good mental health awareness, and it's fucking lovely. Thank you. Otherwise, my name has been Delazar Slix, and I could give you an outro and try to plug myself, but I don't feel like it. So, yeah, just have a lovely day, and if you enjoyed any of the stupid joke I made, thank you. Oh yeah, I stream live on Twitch, and I tend to send out notifications sometimes. So, bye-bye. Have a good day.